This week on Get Fishing TV, we're still looking for Vanilla Monsoon, but we've got all the B-Block matches as we see all the competitors here. Oh my God, an action is getting underway. It's a melee. Where's Connor? Where's Khabib? Somebody's getting fired. Get this in. <laughs> To another episode of Get Fisted TV. I am not your host, Vanilla Monsoon. I am his cousin, Vanilla Monsoon, as we are still looking for Vanilla Monsoon. He is uh, he is missing and, and presumed dead. So if you have any information on Vanilla Monsoon, please contact us at comedy suplex at gmail.com. Well, this week's episode of Get Fisted TV, we have all of the Block B matches. So without further ado, let's get down to ringside right now. Soon down here for the King of SoCal Tournament Block B matches, and we see the Invader, Max McManus, and Randy Order making their way down to the ring right now. They are two thirds, along with this combat champion Douglas James. They are the establishment. Usually we would hear words from the establishment right now, but. I don't feel like listening to these assholes. So now coming down to the ring, Mr. Idol for you himself. Anthony Idol, let's get right to the match. Side suplex by Idol. The establishment has been trying to put the old double team on Anthony Idol. Idol just making his long way to turn back to the independent wrestling scene out here in Southern California after a double bicep injury that kept him out for over a year. Big back elbow by McManus. He's climbing up to the second row. What's he going for here? Oh, and a big DDT by McManus. The invader aid. One, two, and that's it. Throw. No. No. Not advancing yet with that pinball attempt. And you see Randy Order out there, originally scheduled to be part of this block B, had a separated shoulder injury at the hand of True Grit. When True Grit and Ruby Rays, the Gallo Gang, laid that melee at the Spring Breakout event, thus getting suspended for the entire month of October here at this combat. He's going for that move again. Big spine buster by Anthony Idol. That might be it by Idol. Advance to the next round. Two in. Randy orders up on the apron there. Oh no. Idol's got him by the shoulders. Under doctor's orders, he's not supposed to be under any physical contact. What does McManus have in his hand there? Oh, dirty press, knocks by the dirty invader. That might do it, two and three. Advancing in the King of SoCal Tournament, Block B is the invader, Max McManus. The establishment has big matches coming up against the Gallo Gang at November, remember? And Colt Cabana and Dirty Doug and Dirty Ron coming up. On Thursday, November the 1st, at Jolton Joe's in La Mesa, it's time to resurrect the extreme for one night only. This combat proudly presents a November to remember. Any CW tribute like no other, featuring the innovator of violence, Tommy Dreamer, battling Officer Randy Order. In an extreme cat fight, the Queen of Butt Stuff takes on Wacky Wendy. In the main event, six man tag, we've got the Gallo Gang taking on the Blue World Order. And in a three way extreme violence match, Sandron takes on Cactus Mac and they battle Dirty Funk, ACW Tribute Battle Royal, and so much more. Thursday, November the 1st, this combat brings to you a November to remember. We've got three more Block B matches coming up now. Let's take a look at what is next. Here we have Michael Hopkins 
one half of AK Round Bay former Fist Combat Tag Team Champions. And this is a matchup between teacher and student as the New Age Punisher B-Boy enters the King of SoCal Block B matchup here. This one, B-Boy is a heavy favorite. Having trained both Casey Douglas and Michael Hopkins, at once battle you now level up. Wrestling Academy. Snap bear by Hopkins. Rolling front drop kick, double drop kick, and B-Boy is down on the mat, wisely rolling to the outside. And you see Hopkins, tag partner Casey Douglas getting him hyped up. What's he going for here? Top rope, somersault time. Oh no, now B-Boy is in massive control here with Hopkins' head held against that wooden beam. He, he could crush not only this match, but maybe Hopkins' future in the wrestling business. Oh, there we go. He doesn't want to be too hard on his student. We've seen a little remorse in the eyes of B-Boy here lately. Against Dirty Ron, a few episodes ago here on Get Fisted TV, and now to Michael Hopkins. Showing a little bit of mercy in his advanced age, should I say. He's telling Hops to give it up. Come on, Hopkins! Does Hopkins have what it takes to continue this match and advance in the King of SoCal tournament? Oh, and the pain train is going back and forth. These guys are trading strikes. Like these are pogs, and this is the early 90s. Rolling cutter by B-Boy Bond. Hopkins, the, the B-Boy always B-Boy follows with a cutter. These guys are down on the mat. One. Eight. Oh, I, I don't know, they're up. Did somebody slip the Xanax in my drink? I'm just fast forwarding here out of no, no, no reason. Hopkins with a succession of strikes. And a headbutt by B-Boy. One too many of those will send you to the operating table. I don't know. Somebody call a doctor. Oh, no. Oh, B-Boy. Oh, he's going for it. Oh, no, no. Here, Hopkins only him a one, two, three. Oh, my God. And the upset of the tournament. Michael Hopkins advances in the King of SoCal tournament over what some had to believe was the heavy favorite to win this entire thing, the new age Punisher B-Boy. This student has won up the teacher for the time being. Uh, my, my, my jaw is on the ground, as is Michael Hopkins. Casey said, yeah, man, you won. And a big hug, and a show of respect. B-Boy, showing his respect, his love, his admiration for the wrestling game. Michael Hopkins, advance to the King of SoCal Tournament. Let's take a word from our sponsor. Soon back here from our commercial break, and we see the number one contender of the Fist Combat Championship, the Pinnacle of Power, Royce Isaacs, here in his King of SoCal Block B opening round matchup against the other half of the one percent. It is Jarrell Nelson, his tag team partner. Jarrell Nelson showing a little bit of his Drake moves coming down to the ring here. And I, I don't know if, if 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 he's just turning the volume all the way up, but I, I seem to be having some head uh, some sound problems going on right now. All good. Here we go. We are we are here for this block B opening round matchup between tag team partners Royce Isaacs and Jarrell Nelson. Jarrell Nelson, a last minute replacement for the 
Animal, the effing animal, Brian Cage, who big league doesn't had a better opportunity to sit home and not make money rather than come down and fight at this combat. Don't believe me, just ask him. Oh, a slide under by Royce Isaacs. He's going for a pump handle into a power slam. And the pinnacle of power showing you why he's called that. One, two, and oh. Two count. Only a two count, says referee Jimmy. Royce Isaacs trying to put the math together on that one. If he had a 50-50 chance of winning, but he only counted a two, and that was two out of three, which is 66%. Added to the 50% chance that he had there, he's got at least 141 and one third percent of a chance to have that pin there, and he didn't. Hence, the big look of surprise right there. Jarrell Nelson planted on the top rope. By the way, if you have any information on the whereabouts of my brother, Vanilla Monsoon, we're looking for him. His son, Hijode Vanilla Monsoon, and Hermano de Vanilla Monsoon, we're all looking for him. We're all worried about him. So if you have any information on that, please send that to comedysuplex at gmail.com. Roy Isaacs, get up to that second rope here. What's he going? He's going for a superplex, looks like. Oh, and a headbutt by Jay Neasy. Oh, and a big power ball and a beauty. And it shook like the earthquake, too. Oh, and a double stop by Nelson. That could be a two and oh. Oh, my God. Almost a three count, almost advancing in the King of SoCal tournament. This so important in its inaugural tournament here, the King of SoCal tournament. 18 of Co SoCal's finest here in this tournament. The winner will be crowned in January 2019. Oh, he's going for that reverse cutter. Oh, and the pinnacle of power. Shows you why he's at. He's got it. That's it. One, two, and three. Advancing in the King of SoCal tournament, your number one contender, Royce Isaacs. And in our main event, here on Get Fist to TV, it's a rivalry that has spread all over SoCal and all over the United States. It's Eli Everfly and the Fist Combat Champion, Douglas James. And that heated rivalry is displayed here at the King of SoCal Block B main event. Eli Everfly bringing the ruckus here to Fist Combat as he's been seen in major independent wrestling promotions all over the United States, Canada, and Mexico. SoCal Uncensored, Wrestler of the Year in 2017, Eli Everfly takes on Kurt, this combat champion, leader, some would say leader, co-leader of the establishment here. Conspicuous by their absence here. In this main event is Randy Order and Max McManus, the rest of the establishment. These two, as we saw at the top of the episode, could not hold it together for the, the, the pre-tournament picture between the whole group of wrestlers here. This match, they have wrestled each other here at Fist Combat. They wrestled each other all over the United States, all over Southern California, all over every major streaming service. And now we see them here on Get Fisted TV's main event. The first time at Fist Combat for these two to go one-on-one. -on -one. Big knee by Eli Everfly. Come on, Douglas. Originally scheduled to go one-on-one -on -one in a cage match in July here at Jolton Joe's in La Mesa. Royce Isaacs got added to that match. And then, they were supposed to fight each other yet again. Uh, no, it was Joey Janela and Douglas James for the Miss Comedy Championship. And Eli Everfly said, no, nah, man, I'm going to stick my nose where it doesn't belong. Douglas James, I'm coming for you. And Eli came up short that night as well. Come on, Douglas! And although this matchup is not for the Fist Combat Championship, it's for bragging rights. Oh, my God. What was that right there? There was some sort of a... Blockbuster Pile Driver Destroyer by Douglas James. And he shows you why he is relentless. Oh my God. They're taking it to another level here at Jolton Joe's in La Mesa. And everybody is on their feet as Thumbtacks hit the mat. 
Who knows what Douglas James has in mind here? I know what he has in mind. Relentless destruction. He doesn't just want the win. He doesn't want bragging rights. He wants Eli Everfi's blood all over the map. Make sure you're checking out brand new episodes of Get Fisted TV every Friday on our YouTube page at Fist Combat TV as these two warriors are battling on top the top rope here. Who's gonna come up with the advantage? Who's gonna throw who into the thumbtacks? Oh, and he's going for that patented reverse cutter move that he's got. Oh! And they both land in the thumbtacks, piercing through their body all the way to the blood. And no, I'm not a doctor. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Douglas James pulling a table into the ring. What's he looking for here? He's looking to put an exclamation point on this feud. He's got him on the table. Oh! Fucking with the wrong motherfucker indeed. He's laid him out on the table. Douglas James, going up to the top rope. He's looking to hit that six star frog splash. Oh no! Eli with a big insecurity to the side of the face. And another one. And a third. And a fourth. And a fifth. Fifth. He's got him by the fifth. What's Eli going for here? Oh no, more tax? Oh no, uh, indeed. More thumbtacks. Eddie Lay, oh my god! And it's like it's like a hailstorm of thumbtacks laid across that table. Eli Everfly looking to hit some sort of a big maneuver here. And if he does, he will not only Take the victory, but he will advance to the King of SoCal Tournament. He goes for Hurricanrana. Oh no, he stopped. He's, oh no, no, he's got, he's going for a Death Valley Driver. Oh my God. And he hit it. He hit it. He's got a one, two, three. Your winner, advancing in the King of SoCal Tournament. Your fist combat champion. Relentless, Douglas, James. Oh my God. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. You have seen who is gonna advance in the block B of the King of SoCal Tournament. We've got Royce Isaacs, Michael Hopkins, the Invader Max McManus, and of course, this combat champion, Douglas James. The quarterfinals of the King of SoCal Tournament are happening on Thursday, December the 6th at Jolton Joe's in La Mesa. Well, we've got a lot of incredible events coming up here in Fist Combat, but none more than we're excited about Thursday, November the 1st, when it is a November to remember. Featuring the Innovator Violence, Tommy Dreamer, an incredible six-man main event between the Gallo Gang and the Established Man. Look for your favorite ECW characters that night at Jolton Joe's and Mesa. Well, for everybody here at Fist Combat, including the search party to find Vanilla Von soon and throw bone on the booth, there's only one thing left to do. And it's get fisted! <laughs>